Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some player props I like on prize picks uh, for the NBA slate on Wednesday, November the 30th. Now we do have a really big slate tonight, 13 total games. So there is going to be plenty of uh, props to choose from. You know, the last few days I've just been giving out two picks in each video. I have three picks I want to give you guys uh, for today since it is such a big slate. It's a lot easier to find you know, more props that stand out. Uh, so we're going to talk through the three plays that I do like for today, guys. Just before we get started, as always, hit that like button down below if you guys do enjoy these prize picks videos. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you are new to prize picks, make sure to check them out. Sign up with promo code NOAH. Uh, look at the bottom of the screen. When you do sign up with my promo code prize picks, they will match your first deposit up to $100. Um, and I do want to recap our plays from yesterday. Again, we gave out two picks yesterday. Did not hit our two-pick entry, sadly. Um, you know, it's been a tough run these last few days. This, this week in general on um, prize picks has not gone well. Gave out two picks yesterday. We hit one, but we missed the other. We did hit the over on Norman Powell's uh, fantasy score. That pro, you know, that prop wasn't looking great in, in the first half. Norman Powell only played like eight minutes in the first half or nine minutes, but he had a really big second half. He had a really big fourth quarter, and I think he finished with like almost 40 fantasy points. Um, he went over his projection, but unfortunately. We took the over on Justice Winslow, three and a half assists yesterday, and Winslow only finished with two assists. And you know, I'm not, I'm not, not a type of guy. I'm not the type of guy to you know come on here and make excuses anytime my plays lose, anytime you know, anytime something goes wrong. I'm always going to own up to to the plays I give out, um, and I always feel like my I have the research to back up the props I give out. Yesterday though, man, we did kind of get screwed with the Winslow play uh, because I looked. Justice Winslow yesterday had nine potential assists. He led the team. And potential assists. He was basically playing point guard. I watched a lot of that game. Winslow was handle, handling the ball a lot. Um, the assist opportunities were there. Just unfortunate that like every time he passed to a teammate, they would miss. Um, he had nine potential assists and he only finished with two. I think Anthony Simons had eight potential assists and he finished with six assists. So just goes to show you, man, like I feel like the read was there. I feel like the I, I made the right choice taking Winslow's assist because I think the assist opportunities were there. But in the end, like I can't predict how his teammates are going to shoot. It's just unfortunate that I feel like every time he passed to somebody, they, they missed a shot. Um, so you know, that uh, prop did not hit yesterday, unfortunately. Winslow only finished with two assists. But again, I felt like the, it was the right read in the end because he was, he was playing point guard and he was handling, uh, handling the ball a lot in that game. But we'll move on to Wednesday slate. We got three picks to give out today, guys. Hopefully we can bounce back today, uh, make a little bit of money on this you know, big Wednesday slate. Do want to mention that tomorrow on Thursday, there's only one NBA game on Thursday, so I'm probably not going to have any NBA content tomorrow on Thursday. Definitely, you know, with how with how poorly this week has gone in general, it's probably good to just kind of get a day off from NBA. Uh, I might have a video for the Thursday night football game. I'll see if I can find any props to play in the in that Bills Patriots game on Thursday night. But yeah, no no NBA tomorrow. Um, it's just one game. Probably won't have a video up, but. Let's talk about the three plays I like for today, guys. I have two points props I want to talk to you guys about, and then I have a uh, points plus rebounds prop I like. So one of the first po uh, points prop I want to talk about, we're going to go down to this Minnesota-Memphis game. Rudy Gobert, 14 and a half points for Rudy Gobert. I do like the over here, and I know Rudy Gobert is not a guy that you know has been very, he's not been very fun to bet on this season. If you've been betting overs on Rudy Gobert this year, it's probably not done well because he's had a very rough season with Minnesota. Um, he's had some good games, but he's had a lot of disappointing games as well. What makes me like this prop for today is that Carl Anthony Towns will be out for Minnesota for the next, I think, like two to three weeks is what they said. Um, he's going to obviously be out for today. And without Carl Anthony Towns, I think that really secures Rudy Gobert for big minutes. Um, you know, we've seen some games this season, Gobert's only played like 28, 29 minutes, and that's just because they can run different lineups. They can play Carl Anthony Towns at the five. They don't have to close with Gobert at center. Well, now it's very likely they're going to close with Gobert at center. Um, I guess they could play small ball, but I don't think like in this matchup, this is going to be a spot where you see them do that, especially if Steven Adams is out there. They're going to want Rudy Gobert out there against Steven Adams. So I think we're going to get like pretty good minutes for Gobert here, 33, 34 minutes. I think he's going to be more involved in the offense. You take Carl Anthony Towns off the floor, who's a very high usage player. There's just going to be a lot of usage available for everyone. And Rudy Gobert is not like a super high usage player. He's not a guy that's going to take 25 shots. That's just not how he is. He might only take 10 shots tonight, but we know Gobert, all of his shots are going to come at the rim. Most of his shots are going to be dunks. So even if he takes 10 shots, it's very likely that he can still get you know 15 points because there's been a lot of games this season, like last game against Washington, uh, Gobert took seven shots, and he, you know, he was seven for seven from the field. Just because he doesn't take ju uh, jump shots, he gets a lot of his, you know, sc scoring at the rim. He he has a, you know, dunks. Um, that's where most of his points are going to come from. And in this matchup against Memphis, 
you know, this is going to be a, a pretty fast-paced, high-scoring game. Right now, this game does have one of the highest totals on the slate of all the of all the 13 games today. This currently has the third highest total, 231 total in this Memphis-Minnesota game, two and a half point spread. So it should be a close game. Another thing with NBA lately, we've seen a lot of blowouts in like games that are expected to be close have been blowing out lately. It's been really unpredictable. This game though does have a two and a half point spread, so it should be a close game. We should see Gobert play you know more minutes without Carl Anthony Towns. There's going to be more usage available for everyone. Gobert should, uh, he should just be more involved in the offense in general. And 14 and a half points, like this is a line that he has still hit, even though he's been kind of playing poorly this season. He's still gone over this line in 10 out of 19 games, and obviously he's gone over in three out of his last four. A lot of the games where he went under, those were games where you know his minutes kind of got cut, um, just because. That's how it's kind of been this season for Gobert. His minutes have kind of been all over the place. But I think his minutes are going to be pretty high here without Towns. I think there's a chance he plays like 34, 35 minutes tonight. 15 points. I think Gobert's got a good chance to get this. DraftKings uh, Sportsbook, they actually have this line at 15 and a half. So we might see prize picks bump this up soon. On DK Sportsbook, Gobert, 15 and a half points. is currently set at minus 130 on the under. Um, so this line should probably be 15 on prize picks, if not 15 and a half. I think 14 and a half is definitely a good bet here. I think Gobert will be more involved in the offense tonight. I think his minutes are going to be a lot higher without Towns. There's just going to be more usage available for everyone. This should be a very fast-paced, high-scoring game. A lot of points should be scored in this one. Hopefully, it stays competitive. If it does, I think Gobert has a good chance to get uh, 15 points tonight. So that's the first prop that I like for today, guys. Then the next prop, another points prop. I want to go to, to the uh, late-night games. we got some good late-night games tonight. One of the late-night games I'm really going to be targeting is this uh, Pacers and Kings game. Deer and Fox points prop is currently set at 23 and a half. I also like the over here. And you look over his last few games, Fox has gone under this line now in three straight games. But he's had some really tough matchups, especially his last two games. His last two games, he's had to face the Suns and he's had to face the Celtics. Those are not the best spots. Now, against Atlanta, it was kind of weird to see him do so bad against Atlanta. Atlanta's not the worst defensive team, but Atlanta does play at, at a fast pace. And that's usually, you know, fast paced games are usually when, th when Fox really thrives. Well, that's exactly what we're getting tonight against the Pacers. This game actually has the highest total on the slate, 242 and a half total here between the Pacers and the Kings. That might be like the highest total we've seen all season. And this is another game that expects to stay close. Four and a half point spread, Sacramento's favored by four and a half. So we should get a very fast paced, high scoring game here. When you look at pace stats so far this season, uh, the Pacers are playing at the fifth fastest pace in the league and the Kings are sixth in pace. So... Both these teams are top six in pace this season. The total in this game is massive. Fox has had some you know, tough matchups lately, but now he gets a very strong matchup uh, against a you know, pretty poor Pacers defense that so far this season ranks um, in terms of defensive rating where they rank. They actually milled the pack in defensive rating. I, I, want, I want to say their defense was worse. Um, I think they've been playing a little bit better defense lately, but still the pace of this game is what makes this prop so appealing. We've seen Fox do really well in these you know, fast-paced, high-scoring games. And on the season... 24 points or 23 and a half points. This is a, a line that Fox has gone over in 10 out of 18 games. And some of the games where he went under, you know, some of those were like really tough matchups. As I said, his last two against Boston and against Phoenix, he went under. Against Atlanta, he only scored 18 points, but he did kind of shoot poorly in that game. I think he shot like seven for 20, um, I want to say. Let me see. Yeah, he shot seven for 20 in that game and one for six from three. So that was kind of a you know, poor shooting game from him. Um, against Brooklyn, he only played 24 minutes. That was their blowout win where they beat the crap out of Brooklyn. So he went under that game, but it was also a blowout. Against Golden State, he came up just short. He finished with 22 points. Against Cleveland, another tough matchup. His minutes were somewhat limited. 29 minutes, 15 points. Like I said, you know, and then the game against Charlotte, he got injured after nine minutes. A lot of the games this season where he's gone under have either been blowouts or tough matchups or just poor shooting performances. Again, like I, I can't predict how De'Aaron Fox is going to shoot tonight, but Normally, the shot volume is there. Normally, he's going to take 18, 20 shots a game. Because this game is, you know, should, be show, or should be so high scoring, you know, there should be a lot of points scored in this one. Hopefully, Fox is going to be a guy contributing with a lot of those points. He leads the team in usage so far this season. Anytime the Kings put up you know, 120, 125 points, usually Fox is going to have 24 points. Uh, and they have a you know, 123.5 implied team total for tonight. So that's the second prop I like for tonight, guys. 23 and a half points for De'Aaron Fox. Give me the over there. Like him to bounce back here in a, in a pretty good matchup in a you know, fast-paced game. And then the last prop I like for today is a points plus rebounds prop. Going to stick in that same game. Going to go to the other side with the Pacers. Want to talk about Miles Turner. So Miles Turner, I took his points plus rebound, or I took his points last game against the Lakers, 15 and a half. He finished with 15. Super annoying that he came up just short. 
I think you could go to either one of his props. His points is set at 15 and a half. Once again, his points plus rebounds is set at 23 and a half. I think I like points plus rebounds more because most games this season, you know, Miles Turner is going to get eight rebounds. So in order for him to go over points plus rebounds, um, you know, he's going to have to get what's you know, 16 points, eight rebounds. So if he goes over his points prop and doesn't go over points plus rebounds, it's most likely because he got seven rebounds or less. But I think that's pretty unlikely to happen. Turner this season has been averaging over seven rebounds per game. I think he's, I think he's been actually adver- averaging eight rebounds per game. Yeah, eight and a half rebounds per game. He's averaging 18 points per game. So on the season, he's averaging 16 and a half points plus rebounds. A lot of the games, you know, kind of similar to De'Aaron Fox, a lot of the games where Turner has gone under this line, they've either been blowouts or like his minutes were limited just kind of randomly. You know, against uh, the Clippers, that was a blowout. He only played 20 minutes. He went under that game. Against Orlando, blowout. He only played 26 minutes, went under that game. You know, Houston, uh, he put up 24. He did go over that game in just 26 minutes. But, like, let's see, where's some other games he went under? Like, he went under against Miami. That was a really tough matchup. That was one game where he did play his full minutes, came up just short, finished with 23. That's, like, the only game this season where he's had 16 points and 7 rebounds. Normally, every game this season where he's had more than 16 points, he's also had more than 7 rebounds, or or he's had 7 rebounds or more. So, I think if he goes over his 15.5 points prop, he's probably going to go over points plus rebounds. And I could definitely see a scenario where he gets, like, 14 points but gets you know 10 rebounds because he's had you know a lot of games this season with double digit rebounds so I think I like points plus rebounds a little bit more and a lot of the things you know I said about De'Aaron Fox kind of applies to Miles Turner here it's going to be a very fast paced high scoring game this game has the highest total on the slate so we should see a ton of points scored in this one and in games that have been close this season where Miles Turner has played his full minutes he's gone over this line in almost every single game the one game, again, that was close that he didn't go over was that Miami game when he had 16 points and 7 rebounds. Every other game that he's gone under this line was either, like I said, blowout or limited minutes. You know, last game against the Lakers, he played 35 minutes. He had 28 points plus rebounds. Um, you So far this season, when you look at his game log, he's played 15 games. He's gone over this line in 10 out of 15 games. So I think he's got a good chance to go over here in what should be a high-scoring competitive game. Um, the only the, of those five games he went under this season, again, blowout, not competitive game, or just limited minutes. So that's what I like for today, guys. Um, Rudy Gobert, 14 and a half points, taking him to go over that line. I think that line might get bumped soon on prize picks. Darren Fox, 23 and a half points, taking him to go over that line as well. And then Miles Turner, 23 and a half points plus rebounds, taking him to go over that line. Did want to mention that on DraftKings Sportsbook, Miles Turner, his points plus rebounds prop is pretty heavily juiced on the over right now. Um, Last time I checked, it was like minus 140 on the over. Uh, Yes, minus 145 on the over 23 and a half points plus rebounds for Turner. So that's another line that could get bumped just given the odds that you see on the sports books. But this is what I like for the Wednesday slate, guys. Big, uh, you know, 13 game slate. Lots of Lots of, a lot of props to choose from tonight. These are three props I like, kind of taking a first look at the board around 1 o'clock Eastern time when I'm making this video. Uh, as prize picks start to add even more props, you know, we're getting some fancy score props up right now. As they start to add even more props, I'm going to take a look at the board again in you know, about an hour or two, and I'm going to share some more plays I do like for today over on Patreon. going to give a full write-up for each play I provide on Patreon. If you guys want to check, uh, check out the Patreon plays, as always, those are linked down below in the description. Check those out if you are interested. But... Best of luck tonight, guys. Thanks as always for watching the video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Check out Price Picks, sponsor of this video. Again, you can sign up for Price Picks. Use my promo code, promo code NOAH. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.